more trouble for General Motors and its ignition switches, the giant automaker recalling more than 92,000 trucks and SUVs for a defect in the ignition lock system. Now, the key is apparently hard to turn when it's hot in the, in the cab. There are no reports of accidents, but it piles on to GM's problems with the switches, linked to dozens of deaths and injuries. Fred Tisi is here. He's a f former federal prosecutor. And Rebecca Legrand is a criminal defense attorney. Good to see both of you. Thanks for having me. Uh, absolutely. Now, it's our understanding that GM has had uh, many of these victims or families of the victims sign non-disclosure forms to not talk about what happened. Uh, Rebecca, Fred you know, what, what, though, if you want to opt out, do you have any workaround uh, capabilities? Uh, in terms of disclosure, you may not if you're an individual plaintiff. Your choice may be to settle uh, with a non-disclosure agreement or to go to trial, which can be impossible in some cases. But, you know, I think the real failing here was the lawyers, uh, the in-house lawyers for GM, who knew these settlements were happening and should have brought them up the chain of command and allowed GM to take a more vigorous response, and they didn't. They were so focused on each individual suit and winning each individual battle that they didn't think about the broader interests of the company and of the customers, and many of them were fired as a result after when this all came to light. Many of the attorneys were fired? Indeed. GM's in-house counsel took a big hit for this. Because they... Oh, well. well because yeah, they... Exa exactly. So you're, let me see if I got this straight. You're saying that the in-house attorneys uh, should have done more to expose GM to uh, some liability or, or what? I'm not sure what you're saying. Their job internally was to raise this to the appropriate folks there so that they could respond and take action to limit the damage. And limiting the damage doesn't mean hiding it necessarily. It may mean fixing things. And here, I think GM would absolutely say now, what should have happened is that they should have acted more quickly to get these cars off the road. And that's what a good legal department wants to do. That's what GM wanted to do. And they well, failed here because instead their in attorneys in-house were keeping things quiet. Yeah, but gross negligence with penalties, you know, monetary penalties well, for the companies. Go ahead, well, Rebecca. But, but I've got to let you justice. jump in. Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead sure, ahead, absolutely. Rebecca. Now that all this has come to light, those kinds of penalties are on the table. But the problem Correct. earlier on for individual plaintiffs was they didn't know that. So for each individual plaintiff, it was actually very hard to bring these suits and very hard to get damages. And that's why it took so long for things to come to light. But what happened after they finally did realize how serious this problem was, was that General Motors did what it should have done, did an internal investigation that was in-depth, that was comprehensive, and that internal investigation found that, yes, their in-house lawyers weren't doing what they should have done, which was to make sure that steps were taken internally to prevent the harm, not just to shoot down each individual suit, which is unfortunately what happened but, instead. But, you see, I will leave it there. Rebecca, I see you're shaking your head, so you agree with what Fred just said. <laughs> uh, I thank you both, Rebecca Legrand, as well.